Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I made a video. My parents just bought a new house, and so it, things have been crazy the last couple of months with buying a house and my work. I just have not had a time to do anything YouTube related. I finally am able to do it now. Um, so this is a enclosure that I am building out of a cabinet. I am gonna use it for crested geckos. Um, I already lined the whole inside with plastic just to protect everything that's going into this to make sure everybody is safe. Um, just to make sure nothing <laughs> that is maybe toxic can't get to them. This has already been lined and all completely sealed out. I didn't film it because it was just a bunch of boring footage and I really didn't want to bore you guys with something like that. So I went ahead and took the liberty of doing this. So... Um, this build took me about a total of two or three hours from start to finish. Um, I figured it'd be cool just to give you guys a whole time-lapse video. And then at the end, we will finish it off with some B-roll. This is something I've been really, really wanting to do for a long time. Just never had time or money to do it. Everything in this video that I am using, all the products minus the cabinet, you can buy from uh, Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, and Petco. That is where I bought all the products that are going to here. Uh, the bedding I am using is, subst the substrate I am using is Terrier Moss and Cypress Mulch. Just to give a good uh, thick substrate to hold a lot of humidity. I am going to add some uh, cocoa fiber. I just was not able to get any today when making this, so that is something I'm gonna add in before I add any animals into this. So this plant, I didn't film while putting it in because it took a little bit of time to actually install it. This is not real. This is just a fake plant I bought from Hobby Lobby. It is pretty long and it looks great. I'm now just adding some bamboo that I have had for a while. Um, and I just think it really makes the enclosure look really nice. Um, I already had these uh, cut to size, to length. Um, I'm just trying to get the right pieces. I end up messing up because I accidentally grabbed the wrong piece, as you can see. <laughs> um, so I get all that in, and then you can really see how it starts coming along. It starts looking less like a cabinet and more like an enclosure. I really, really, really like this vine. Um, it's about maybe four or five feet long. It was about $20, but I was able to get 50% discount, so that really, really worked. Um, I'm not a fan of fake plants. I typically love, like to use live plants in most of my enclosures, but this I could not pass up. I think it just makes it look great. So this is something I got for a hide. I think it looks really cool. I think it adds a lot of character to the enclosure. has a nice hole in there and then everybody, every, all the geckos can hide in there and it just feels safe. I didn't reinforce this bamboo just so it does not fall in the future. Now with the bamboo and plus the fake plant and the substrate, I think it's really starting to come along. It's really starting to look like an enclosure. This is Golden Pothos. I got this from Home Depot. And I think it just looks really great in it. I got some other live plants to go in there as well. One thing when using live plants in an enclosure that's going to be housed with for any animal, you always want to make sure that they are safe and that they are not toxic. You can go online and find dozens of different forms that list toxic and non-toxic live plants for reptiles. It's very important that you do not get anything that is toxic to the touch or to eat.
Now this piece I got from Hobby Lobby, it was 50% off, which was a steal. This is a saber tooth tiger skull. Um, I am going for like a dinosaur Jurassic Park kind of theme, if you will. Um, I think it really, really brings out the enclosure, gives it some character, and just makes it look like you stepped into the dinosaur age. And it is just, I don't know, I just love it. There is a dinosaur skull as well that I am going to go back and get eventually and put in here somewhere. I just think this look makes the enclosure look just so much more better. Really gives it some character. And I think it's going to look great when it's finished. So after adding the last two plants, um, the one I did not film putting in because it was kind of large, it was a dragon tree. I've used them in the past. I have one in my chameleon's cage. They're completely reptile safe. I didn't know how to fit it in there. So like once I got it in there, that was that. Now, one thing that is obviously missing, if you probably notice, is a door. I do not have a door on this yet. I have one that I am building. I didn't really want to take you guys through all that because it, it's just kind of boring and unnecessary. Um, I have one already ready to be put together, all the hardware and everything. And so the next video, it will be the next update on this, uh, you will have a door. This is some vine that I found at Hobby Lobby as well. It is has a wire in it and then it's covered with like fake moss. And I just think it looked really, really cool. And it really adds more character and really makes the enclosure look more naturalistic. Um, as you can see, it took me a little bit to see how exactly I wanted to put this. Um, I really wanted it to look natural, but at the same time, you know, to my preference. So after that, it was pretty much one of the last things I did to this. So before this video comes to an end, I just want to say I'm really, really happy with the finished product. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this too. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done an enclosure this well. I'm not trying to boast. I'm just saying I'm really happy with it. And I'm very satisfied. I can't wait to see where it will go. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this. And I will keep updates on it. I have a lot of other projects that are coming soon. I know I keep saying that, but I promise you they are coming. It's just going to take a little time. Um... And as well, I'm trying to keep you all updated on my Facebook page. I'll drop a link in the description and go follow my page. Go click, like it, share it, do whatever you will with it. Um, I post a lot of educational stuff on there. I post updates about my own animals, projects that are coming. There is one that I posted about that is coming soon. Um, that will probably be my next video. So without further ado, here's some B-roll.